goodness. Let me tell you, I've done swearing ins for individuals before. This is really the largest crowd. She does not have free passes to the movies, by the way. I'm wondering why all these people are here. Uh, well, first of all, welcome. I'm San Francisco Mayor London Breed, and it's really great to join you all um, to swear Monty into uh, this new role as the director of SF Film and the San Francisco Film Commission. I know we have a number of film commissioners in the house, so can you all stand? Jack Song, Billy Wang, the president, Claudine Chang, Carolyn Tyler, and Matt Stryker. They're pretty much her bosses, and I'm her boss, so I guess she got bosses, but she's the real boss. And she actually is the one who really does the work. And let me just tell you a little bit about Monty and what she's been able to do, and we're so glad to have her in this new role. She started off in 2015 uh, in SF Film and, and working on a lot of the nuts and bolts of how we make film happen in the city. Most of the stuff that most of us don't want to do. We want to just either be in the film, like me in the Matrix. Uh, <laughs> We want to watch the film at the theater. We want to get on the red or the green carpet or the blue carpet. Um, but there's a lot of work that goes into making films work, especially in a place like San Francisco where everybody has an opinion about where someone should film and what street and what have you. And all of those little things require a soft touch. Someone who's going to go in and have that conversation. Someone who's going to go in and coordinate and deal with the permits and deal with the cables from muni buses and all of these itty bitty things. And some of the best accomplishments I think that Manny has brought forward to San Francisco uh, have had a lot to do with her work on the policy during COVID, the policy that she helped put together that allowed films to continue to film small and large in San Francisco during COVID. Um, and we're not just talking about those films on the big screen and the little screens and everything in between. We're talking about the jobs it creates. We're talking about the support for our restaurants, our hotels, our economy. Having films in San Francisco, big or small, is so important to the success of our economy. And so we are grateful for your work on those protocols. And we're also grateful that, you know, this department under Monty's leadership has really uh, taken a hold of Opportunities for All, the program that I established where high school students and young people up to the age of 24 can get a paid internship. And the fact that we were able to get those young people, because I visited these sets, and like I said, I was in the Matrix, so I was on set. Um, <laughs> We had young people in this program. This is the first time any of these productions have ever worked with interns in this capacity. Not going to get my coffee and, and stacking up the food. It was like set building and, and lighting and real production work. Working with Local 16, working with these various um, filming companies and creating an opportunity for young people to work on The Matrix, to work on Nash Bridges, to work on these great things, it was like seeing these kids on set and knowing that this is now a part of their career. It is really uh, something I'm most proud of, of what you did, of what this department has done in San Francisco, and how it's going to make such a difference in their lives and the next generation, and really diversifying the behind the scenes work, the set crews, the lighting crews, all this stuff. We need to make sure that women and people of color are a part of the equation when doing films in San Francisco as well. And so we know there's a lot of great work you're going to continue to do. And luckily, you have all these wonderful people here to celebrate with you and to support you, people uh, from the industry, people from City Hall, friends and family. Uh, because, you know, this pandemic has really challenged our city. And a 
important part of our economic recovery has everything to do with making sure, as beautiful as we know this city is, we want to make sure that it's easier to spotlight our city on film, to, to make sure that it is featured, to make sure that we create you know, more than just my San Francisco favorite movies, The Rock and Matrix, right? It's how do we bring other films? How do we make it easier for the independent filmmaker? How do we create opportunities to showcase San Francisco? Because with all of the new things that we've opened up, the Tunnel Top Park, um, that beautiful Francisco Park where you had a cable car coming down, and I mean, that is like, you can't, I mean, you can't find a better view in the world. This is an iconic place. It's a beautiful place. It's the first place that people should want to film. And we have to make it easier. And I know that there is someone that's going to lead this department, that's going to work with the commissioners, that's going to work with the various city agencies, that's going to work with all of the neighbors and the folks who are saying no to focus on what we're going to do, which is our new model. How do we get to yes? How do we get to yes? How do we make it happen? And the person I'm about to swear in right now is going to be the one to help us get to yes for filming in San Francisco. So come on up, Monty. All right. Wow, this is a big crowd. You know, it's coming out to five people, maybe. All right, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Manisha Fata. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I bear true faith and allegiance. That I bear true faith and allegiance to the same to the same that I take this obligation freely that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation without <laughs> any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will well and faithfully discharge that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter the duties from which I'm about to enter. And during such time. And during such time. As I serve as. As I serve as. Executive director. Executive director. For, <laughs> for SF Film. For film, SF Film, SF, SF Film. And, is it Film <laughs> SF. <laughs> come S see, come sigh. <laughs> I don't only say because Anne is here. She's Film SF. And the Film Commission. And the Film Commission. For the City and County of San Francisco. For the City and County of San Francisco. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love you guys. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. Um, my heart is incredibly full right now. Um, I, I wanted to write down some words because the people who know me know that I can get emotional and I can go off track and or I can forget what I want to say. So I wanted to make sure I captured everything that I wanted to share with you all. Um, and I want to say this is better than getting an Oscar. Um, and I have to say, this is funny, because I really actually don't like a lot of attention on me, but I won't pass up a celebration. So thank you for being here. And I mean, truly, this is um, each and every one of you, I look around, and you have all been part of this journey uh, with our office, um, this journey with me, um, to this film community, and to San Francisco. So uh, I have just immense gratitude for each of you, and I can't wait to um, give each of you a hug after this if I haven't already done so. Um, but I wanted to say, more importantly, Mayor, you know, thank you for this appointment. Um, you really see the incredible value of this industry. Um, and not just the importance of our stories being told, um, but, you know, it's the economic impact that productions have on San Francisco, you know, um, from supporting the small businesses 
to the local jobs and the local important union jobs that are a result of when bigger productions come to town. Um, you are our biggest champion, truly. And you really have demonstrated that. Um, Mayor Lee was a really big film lover as well. Um, and so uh, it's incredible to see that you've come into this role and I see how much that you've echoed all of his um, f uh, leadership and more. Um, I just want to thank my family for being here. Um, they're all right here. Um, this, this means a lot to them. And also, yes, I love, I want this to be participatory. So if this, what I share, sort of speaks to you, shout whatever you need to do, stand up. Um, but I'm the daughter of immigrant parents. Um, my father is from Iran and my mom is from Mexico. And in 1964, they met in Golden Gate Park. Um, my mom was living with Dominican nuns, not to be a nun, but just living with them. I forgot why. Um, but um, my dad was uh, a student taking computer classes and with the intent of going back to Iran. Um, and then my mom saw him over um, at this a picnic that the nuns were doing for foreign students and said to her girlfriend, see that man over there, I'm gonna marry him. And 50 something year to years later, you know, right? 55, 56, how many? I forget, mom. 58, we're here. Um, and the sacrifices that they've had uh, for their children, I'm the youngest of four, and what they did to um, support um, all of us to be college bound, to have our careers, the sacrifices, our education. Uh, my generation is the first that went to college. Um, and this is the story I'm telling you is more about, you know, me. It's about that our stories are important and they need to be told, right? And all of our stories um, and how my story started here in this city. And that's why this city has always been so important to me. Um, because without uh, without this city, I, I wouldn't be here. Um, I, I want to acknowledge the commissioners. Um, so you have to stand up, but here, you know, and, and please stand up. You know, you want to sit because you're filming. Is that right, Vili? No. But the commissioners, I have this incredible group of 11 advisors, mentors, collaborators. Like, I see it as such a true gift to work with all of you because you are what's gonna help guide our work and ensure that we are accountable to the city, that we're accountable to this industry and make sure that we thrive. So, I, you know, we've already had sort of a runway together and I, I'm just excited for what is to come with all of our work together. So, thank you. Um, I do have more to, to say, so you know, I, I, I'll try to speed it up because I know Mayor's busy and has got an agenda. Um, I want to also thank our team, our small and mighty team, Stefania Perez and Ismael Castillo. You know, mind you, we had a, a lot of transition in this office at the beginning of last year, and we have a new team who have really stepped up with um, all this you know, difficult work and we're, we really need to build our capacity and I look forward to doing that, that we, to ensure that we are serving the production community even better than we are, because we need to. And so they've really stepped up under a really tight, because we, we should be a larger team and we're a, a small, mighty team, but we're, we're doing it. So thank you so much for everything. Um, my, our, our OEWD and our city departments that we work so closely with, I see you all there. And where's my other, and Kate and your leadership and getting this position filled and everything and being the other biggest champion of San Francisco. Um, I thank you for your partnership. You know, um, when I started seven years ago, you know, we had really strong relationships with the city, but we really strengthened them over time. And, and getting the city to sort of see the value, city departments see the value of productions and how far we've come. And I really see that we're collaborators and you get it when we ask you, we're gonna shut down financial district for four weekends to shoot the you know, matrix, like, okay, let's see how we do that. Like that really happened and you really made it all happen. Um, and OEWD, it's like, I'm, um, 
so proud to sit under this department. Um, it makes complete sense why uh, film would be a part of such a huge economic engine and that we would be sitting in partnership with you. Um, the production community, I need you to stand because you're here. And the production community, and that includes the filmmakers. So this production community, and some of you are all standing, and this is the organization's, your tireless work, and our labor partners, right? IATSE Local 16 and Teamsters and SAG-AFTRA. Um, um, you know, you're from the organizations that support and cultivate filmmaking to the filmmakers that dream up stories of San Francisco, uh, to the location managers for showing the best of San Francisco, right? To directors, so you entice them to actually shoot here. Um, sometimes I always feel the location managers don't get the recognition that they need, and those are the ones from departments that we work the closest with because we really help make your filming happen here. And um, I have so much more, you know, respect for you all um, in my time being here, and I've seen um, just all the intense work that you do behind the scenes that needs to be acknowledged. Um, so I have a vision for this city where we embrace and invest in our storytellers and our San Francisco storytellers, right? And that we ensure production staying longer. Um, and I know we need to really work on a statewide level to really get productions to come to California, right? And then we need to get them out of the LA zone so they really can shoot more here, right? So there's a lot of work that we have to do um, and I really need all, and, and we're all responsible for that. It, it can't just lie on our department in the city. We all have to be um, advocating for San Francisco and the Bay Area, because as we all know that San Francisco, it leads the Bay Area, and, and we need that leadership. Um, and it's also important that we commit to the filmmakers who are here to stay, that you feel like you have a community here and that it's a community that's supported by myself and, and the city and that we can commit to resources and think about what those resources like together and see what's missing. So I know I'm gonna bark on a bunch of listening sessions which I've already done with filmmakers and production companies, but um, that's a lot more to come that we have to do so that we really can understand and assess what the needs are and, um, and really make that happen to sort of support the industry here. Um, last two points I want to sort of just quickly touch on is, is this notion of we are such a large media production hub um, here. We ha we're home to Lucasfilm, Dolby, Pixar, YouTube, Google, and we need to hire SF. We need to hire San Franciscans. So I want to see that we are creating pathways which we've done some incredible work already piling with the mayor's opportunities for all program and productions that will stay here longer. But the organizations that are based here to get them to sort of continue to um, hire San Franciscans, I'd love to see San Franciscans of color and young San Franciscans that we can provide a pathway into this industry, a foot in the door, you know, and so that's what, you know, we're gonna really embark on and really, and you know, push those companies and others and other org media organizations to really do that. So we can hire San Franciscans. Thank you. Um, and something that I know that's important right now is getting out of the house and getting back and reconnected with San Francisco, right? We need to go to theaters. So I know we're comfortable on our couches um, with our Netflix and, and our Hulu, but we have to go to theaters and we have to see and support our theater venues. We have to go to Roxy, we've gotta to go to um, the Balboa, we have to go to Castro. So I'm inviting you all, challenge yourself, choose a film, there is a ton out there, and support your local theater. And that's including also the local festivals. These were conversations that was happening last week. And we, we have to do that. Otherwise, if we don't support these festivals, we're gonna lose a huge piece of our community here, right? We're home to some incredible film festivals, Frameline, San Francisco Silent Film Festival, San Francisco International Film Festival, um, 
um, Urban Film Fest. I mean, the list goes on, and I'm forgetting I'm going to miss some folks, but we have to do that. We have to go to theaters and, and support that, uh, um, and support those, those spaces. So I just invite you, in closing, just I invite you to fall in love with San Francisco again if you're not already in love. Like, I'm in love daily when I come here. I mean, that's really truth. So whatever sort of story or narrative is being told, that I think it's important that we, we tell the story that we want of San Francisco. And that is this, it's the positive story, right? That we know this is beyond the beauty that we have and that we are in the most cinematic city in the world. I mean, truly, it's world class. But really around the fabric and the people that are here, the spirit and the soul of the city, right? Um, that's the story. We're triumph. We're resilient. We're strong. So we have to, we have to tell. So I'm going to ask you, what story are you telling about San Francisco? Right? And we need to just uplift that and uplift it together um, so that we can, we continue to grow strong and support this industry even more. city pin for the city and county of San Francisco and let's sign you in so yes. you can make it official. Woo. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah